Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Fully Off and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Survival. Uh, I'm, as you can see, I'm back in the nether... Uh, <laughs> the other words. As you can see, I'm back in the nether again, but it's only for a, a quick visit. I need some glowstone uh, for my next project. So I thought we'd start by just grabbing a bit of that. Yeah, so I don't have a... I don't have a... Uh, a silk touch pickaxe so I'm just gonna have to grab this stuff and then make it again mind you I've got a fortune pickaxe so hopefully I'll get as many as I uh, I'll get as much dust as I break if you know what I mean I think you know what I mean And hopefully it's not all going to fall off over the edge. Well, so the plan today is the f first part of the, uh, the episode anyway is to get myself a, a sugarcane farm, an automated sugarcane farm. We've got now uh, several villagers that uh, librarians that deal with paper, and obviously to make paper we need sugarcane. And I don't want to be mining. I don't want to be uh, uh, collecting it like a, an idiot by hand. So I'm going to make myself a farm and I'm going to make the farm close to the where the villagers are so I don't have to walk very far. I'm not sure whether you've figured out by now, but fundamentally I'm bone idle and uh, I'm walking around it doesn't interest me at all. Not a big wall. Oh, look at them mushrooms. Fantastic. Nice little mushroom farm going on there. So uh, I've got my glowstone, uh, and I'll make some uh, make some glowstone torches uh, and the like. Uh, I'll wait. I need to get some signs up as well. How many times have I run up and down these stairs, and I don't know where I'm going? Yeah, too many is the answer. So yeah, we'll make a, a bog standard automatic uh, sugarcane farm using probably the daylight sensor that is above the door that tells me when it's when it's day. When it's daylight outside, it's, uh, sugarcane takes 13. That's just about right. Sugarcane takes a couple of Minecraft days to grow and uh, you can get them that have got uh, uh, trip wires and pistons and uh, sorry trip wires at the top and when the sugarcane grows to that specific height they shoot the, uh, the piston harvest sit but they're they're a bit more bulky than, the, than what I want to use so I'm going to basically have a we'll start here I need to widen this corridor just a little bit uh, so I'm going to have some wood panel in there going to have a uh, probably a water yeah probably a water chute down there carrying the sugar cane away not sure which way yet whether I want the I think I'm probably going to have the if I have the chests in the middle I can have hoppers can't I rather than water I'm going to work that one out in my head yeah, I'll probably have two two uh, uh, two double chests in the middle. Uh, I'll have hoppers running down to them. I'll have some glowstone on the front. I'll have some leaves on the front as well. A bit of disguise. Uh, probably going to make the back bit out of clay. And then I'll have the pistons running down the back. Not all the way back there. Probably about here. Double pistons running back there. Uh, behind the back of that bit of redstone goodness going on linked to this fella here this guy here because there's a daylight sensor at the top so just above there there's a, a torch uh, sorry some redstone so that won't be difficult to link around the back of the furnace uh, using some kind of hopper clock to time two days uh, and once two days are up uh, a little monostable circuit bump 
fires the pistons. All the sugar cane falls off onto the... Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, it'll be easier to show you once it's all done. So I'm hoping I've got everything I need in here. I've got a load of redstone. Uh, I've got a, a load of the repeaters. I've got stuff. I've got some wood planks. Uh, I need some clay. So I'll go and grab myself some clay. And I think I'm going to use green clay. Although using green clay could be a problem because I don't have any cactus. Cacti, cactuses. Maybe I need a cacti farm as well. Anyway, before I do any of that, I need to... Uh, I need to widen this. I need this taken back a few blocks. I need this brought back to about here. So I need to get rid of that switch. But what I don't want to do... don't want to do is turn that on. If I, the minute I turn that... The minute I switch that on, that's going to drop down. These guys are going to start breeding like rabbits. And I don't want them to do that. So I don't have to do anything. Oh, because it's, oh, it's an excellent. I was getting all worried and I don't have to do anything. Which makes me happy. So I'm going to lob in a gate there. And I'm still not sure what to do with these yet. I'm still, I'm in an hour and about, about what to do with them. So at the moment I'm going to do nothing seems like the in thing to do right so torches the uh, glowstone lamps need to go there probably don't need that many i think i'm I'm only, uh, I've got a, a side panel that goes down there, so I won't need that many. Right. I'll have glowstone in there, won't we? So I was going to use a water chute down the back uh, and I was going to put it on some ice so they'd whiz down nice and quick. But I can't because A, I don't have a silk touch pick so I can't even go and get some of the packed ice from the biome we've recently discovered. Uh, because if I use normal ice, it's just going to... It's just going to, uh, to melt instantaneously. I suppose I could have... Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to have a couple of, I'm going to have the hopper, I'm going to have the chest here. I've stopped messing about now and just do it. chest there and we've got four hoppers Ooh. hopefully I've got loads of iron ah who am I kidding I've got tons of iron Those going in like that. Bada bing, bada bang. Yeah, covers it up just a little bit. Need some more hoppers. Uh, yeah, hoppers. I thought I'd got those. I'm going to have to get my hoppers later. Uh, uh, and I want some sand. Now, I know you don't need sand to grow sugar cane on. I just, I just like it. It looks nice, so I'm going to be using sand. 
I don't think I, some uh, Zazuma, I think it was, I saw a uh, Mythbusters kind of thing not so long ago. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. And he did a bit of myth busting where he sort of proved that you don't need to grow sugarcane on sand for it to grow any faster, but you do need it to be next to some water. So I do need some water in here. Brilliant. So my sugar cane will now grow there. Hope you guys aren't bored. I love building. I love redstone stuff. Right, so um, I want a block on the back of this. Now, should we have a bit of wood? I wanted clay. I wanted orange clay. We'll have, a, we'll have a look at some of them. We'll have a look at the different different ones. All right, I'm also going to need my pistons behind the back of this. Pistons on the yeah. Oh, so daisy. So pleased with the old slime farm as well. That's going fantastically well. So we want some here. front of that we'll have our clay yeah I like that maybe I'll have a different color down the side We'll do it in yellow. Does yellow go? Do I want it all the way to the front now? Hmm. Don't mind that, we're going to have a bit of green in there as well, aren't we? Yeah, don't mind that at all. Right, so I need a bit more room around here. And a bit more light. So somewhere up there is the cable I need to connect. So I'll, I'll do that off camera. But basically, if I lob, lob, I do love that word. If I lob, yeah, I can do it with this. And I, I normally put my redstone on, uh, on uh, stone block. But um, 
there's no reason why I, because I'm if I ever dug into here, I'd be close enough to everything else anyway, wouldn't I? I know what I mean. What is that? What happened there? Some kind of invisible block. Actually, it's probably because I was messing about with the torch behind me. So I need my repeaters on there. And what that will do is that will power that piston, but it will also power the piston underneath it. If you do it the other way around uh, and, uh, and power the bottom piston, it will only power the bottom piston. It won't do the top one. So you need to power the top one. And it will power both of them. to learn how to jump. Got the torch as well. And hopefully show you how it's gonna work. And hopefully the redstone next to it won't interfere. Yeah, nods of approval. Oh man. Come on. So if I put a torch down there now, all of those pop out, which takes the top off of all of the all of the sugar cane. All of the sugar cane falls down there. I'll have some light grey glass across the front of it, so none of it flies out in front of me. It, it all falls down there. Very few of it, very few of the bits of sugar cane, will land on on there. I'll have this at quite a, a, a long pulse, so it won't be like a, a, a an in and out straight away. Uh, I'll have it come out, it'll wait a couple of seconds, then go back in again, all of the sugar cane will fall down into the hoppers, funnel down, goodness in there. Uh, then I can I'll probably put a couple of crafting tables next to it, I don't know yet. Turn it into paper, run down here, hello mate, and emeralds are mine. So what I'm going to do now, I, I'll dig out all of this behind it. Uh, and see if I can find the see if I can find the uh, cable from around the back. So uh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I found uh, I found where it uh, where it comes out, uh, which is just up here. So it comes down from the daylight sensor, which is up the top of there, which is the uh, entrance to the cave comes down into here and turns that light on. So we're going to use this signal here. And I don't know how powerful it is when it gets down to here. So I'm going to stick a I'm going to stick a repeater there to start with. Actually, what I want to do to start with is dig this out because I do want to put this on stone block. I don't know whether or not I'm going to be digging up through it. So, like so, and I'll grab a repeater, bang that down there, and I need a line of dust. So we'll go down to we'll go down to there. And then I need to stick a sticky piston in there. Oh, think, 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 think on your feet, man. Brilliant. That creates a monostable monostable um, circuit really. It, basically once the daylight sensor is activated this it's like a switch it will stay on all the time and obviously I don't want the pistons to be extended all the time so sticking this monostable circuit 
uh, and that will allow a pulse to come through it uh, and act as a as a button rather than a switch so now i need to put in a a two day uh, a two day uh, timer for that i need a dropper and a hopper dropper and a hopper probably got more space here than i'm giving myself but uh, we'll, we'll work with what we've got for the time being so we need that there and we need the dropper going into it and then in there i need to put two swords they need to be swords because they both have a a, a signal strength of three bits of redstone i'm gonna have to dig out a lot of this actually give myself a bit of room to work with man And then out of that, I need a comparator. Have I got a comparator? Oh, I didn't pick one up. Fool. And obviously, as you know, a comparator reads a signal from the... Got some more dust. Comparator reads a signal from the uh, hopper. So when, when the daylight sensor fires, signal comes through there, it shoots one of those swords out, into there now at the moment it's just going to go straight back again so i need to put in a little switch to stop that from happening so if we put that if we put man I've, i don't have enough room we don't need those at the moment put a block there put a comparator there so it'll now read when there's a an item in there which is which is what we need What is this? One, two, three. <laughs> I'm one, two, three. I'm, I didn't want to go over the hole, and I'm going to finish it going over the hole. So I might have to move my my ladder a little bit. One, one, two, three, four. So now, when I've got one item in there, it'll read a signal strength of three to there. When the second one goes in there, it'll read a signal strength to four, which will come to here, which will power that block, which will turn off that torch. And that torch is going to be powering that. That repeater. So at the moment, if we take one of those swords out of there and put it into there see it's got a signal strength of three torch stays on sword stays in there next time the next day the daylight sensor fires this sword gets fired into there that goes off items go back out job is a good one but also that will flash and that will give me an output for Actually, I'll take the output from the other side. If I take the out, oh, can't I jump high enough? If I take the output from here, yeah, not going to work out too bad. Take the output from here, oh, but then it's not going into the block. Oh, think on your feet, man. I'll do that then. I'll put a torch. <laughs> Take a just, just calm down for a second, right? That into there, put that into a repeater, okay? Right now, stop messing about, put that into a block, and have that into a to a block there which in theory no theory about it that will work that will power that block which will power that dust which will power 
the pistons. Brilliant. Right, so we've got this sorted out. Have we? We've got this, haven't we? So, daylight sensor, monostable, pulse, that fires into there. Second day, bump does the same. Swords go back into there, but it also activates that, which will give quite a lengthy pulse onto it. That block will power that redstone. That will go down there. Job is a good one. Right. So that's all done up here. Bit of light. Flashing redstone needs light. Okay. So that's that done. Now all I need to do is grab myself some hopper. So I need to go and chop some more wood. While I'm, while I'm doing that, actually, I'll, uh, I'll fix this again. He says, desperately looking for stone. There it is. The stone I'm using, wasn't it? It is now. It is until I can be bothered to put something else up there. up in the air, guys down, guys back up in the air again, surely you guys couldn't have registered that in time, no, yes, no, yes, no, yeah. uh, idiots, right, I need to go and grab some sugar cane, plant my sugar cane now to start with, anyway, I can't, I need some, oh I've got water behind it, Got all concerned then, all of a sudden. Forgot, I thought I'd forgotten the water. Right, so that's my sugar cane. So now that'll grow and everybody will be happy. I need to get some hoppers on the front. I need to tidy this little bit up around the back. I don't need that anymore. Put some torches in here. a lot of difference here because I'm going to have I'm going to be having uh, hoppers in front of that anyway and then glass along the front of that brilliant I'm going to go off and chop some trees Here's to hoping. Now I could, I could. Uh, whether I do or not, I don't know. You'll have to let me know. I could put some slabs across the front of that. Um, just to hide the... Oh, actually, you can't really see it, can you? Can't really see it. So maybe I won't. Oh, I need some glass. Bit of, some of that. Bit of glass, do yeah, I'd love to stay, I'd love to stay. Do 
I like that. Do I? I'm not sure now. Maybe I should have the. Yeah, maybe I will. I'll have the torches, the uh, glowstone lamps. One. Oh, I can't. I can't because of that. It's gonna have to stay like this. It's gonna stay like this for a minute because I am running out of ideas and I don't want to bore you to death. So that's gonna stay like that. And then we'll probably have wood down the side with a bit of grass down the middle. Yeah, we'll do that now. Sort of got this grassy woody theme going on haven't we i'll get some get some dirt uh, and then we'll have three wide i'll dig out this wall as well this wall's got to go just one further back yeah i don't like that at all don't like that at all yeah i'm liking that nice and easy right i've just done a bit of decorating just finished off the uh, the corridor um, and before we go on to do the next little job today i just thought i'd show you what we've done right so that's what it looks like i've managed to get rid of the the bit at the end the uh, the bread maker bread maker sort of worked but didn't work brilliantly so he's out uh, i've repaired the infinite villager breeder uh, and that's what it looks like that's what the uh, uh, the sugarcane farm looks like now it's worked a couple of times uh, i've also done some trading with the, the librarian and got myself some uh, emeralds which i'm just about to spend uh, but that's what it looks like uh, and on the other side i've done that which i think is quite nice as you're walking as you're walking through it's it's nice i'm a bit disappointed with the sunflowers only pointing one way uh, i'm sort of hoping they they wouldn't but they do so there you go but there's a bit of light in there i've put a bit of blue stained clay up there a bit of sky-ish i could have put blue wool up there but i thought that would have been a bit too dark so uh, yeah that's what it looks like and i'm, I'm reasonably I'm, in fact i'm very happy with it i think it looks fantastic i couldn't help myself i had to have one last final little play with it um i've uh, I've moved the, the chest backs underneath the glass and put some stairs on the front of it so you can still access the chest. Put those back in there again. Uh, but that tidies up the room a little bit better. Uh, it doesn't have the chest sticking out in the middle. So uh, we've run out of time, I'm afraid. I would have liked to have done another little project today down on the uh, down in the skeleton spawner, but that'll have to wait for another day. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode, everybody. If you have, please don't forget to leave it a like. And if you've really loved it, please subscribe for future videos. This is Fulioth, and I'm out of here.